Right guys, welcome back. Uh, it's the first video of 2015. Um, so I hope you all had a good new year and Christmas and got everything for your layouts that you wanted. Um, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of an update. Uh, first of all, there's uh, this new locomotive, uh, Class 66. And 66 treble 1. And he's also, if it will focus, nope. It says Highland Rail in that little yellow box. Um, this was from Hattons. It was £133. And it was my birthday present. So, thanks to mum and dad for getting me this one. It's an absolutely beautiful machine. Um, pickups and all axles. On all wheels, sorry. All wheel drive. So I got, what, uh, six axles. So 12 wheel drive. Um, I fitted it with a 21 pin um, gauge master controller and as well as having your normal uh, directional lights this one also has on function number one cab lights so yeah so I'm really impressed with that um, not a lot has really happened to the layout since um, well for about three months really now um, just purely because of the fact that I've been waiting for the second helix because um, as I've explained in past videos I've been having a lot of um, time spent at work rather than at home but coming around here I have um, some of my Christmas stuff that I got given. So I've got two more of these Backman 1970s detached houses. I've got one garage. And I've got two little sheds, which they're not on there at the minute because I've just finished um, weathering them. Um, my granddad got me this garage, which is quite nice to go with this Aston. It's a Caramera car. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. So the gardens will be getting done um, soon. You'll notice there's an extra section on the end of the baseboard. So if I go here, there's only a nominal amount of gap on the end of the uh, upright. But here, there is quite a bit. That's because when I put these on and had wanted to put the garages, I needed this extra section. So it's all it is is a bit of two by one screw to the side. Um, this, I'm on my week off at the minute and if I show you what I've been doing I hope you will like it but I have been weathering some locomotives. This is my first attempt at weathering. Um, these are my two Vitrains class 37s. Um, for the videos, like for the instructions, I actually followed um, Everard Junction's How to Weather a Locomotive video. So, for any information on that, I used exactly the same paints, thinner, and process. So, stripped it all down, took the bogies up, put, took the bogey side frames off, taped up the body so I could get to the tank, and I have weathered the locomotive. So, if it'll pick it up. I hope you guys like that. It's literally, I'm just waiting for the final curing process because I've, um, it took me two days to do this up to this stage so far. I done Tuesday was applying the weathering paint with half an hour period between each um, color. And then I left that overnight and I put on the real match matte varnish this morning. Um, so the three colours I used were sleeper grime, roof dirt and weathered black. So if I come back a little bit, because up close you can't see the exhaust dirt very well, but if I come back a bit you can just about make it out it's a slightly shinier, that goes from there to there roughly. What I done is, oh, 
look up a bit of lope. Went basically up to the bottom of the red stripe with the sleeper grime. I went round the ends and into the uh, recesses. That's why it looks like there's some little black squares. Sorry guys, I'm kneeling down on the floor. Um, and for the roof and the bonnet, like the tops of the bonnets, I went over with roof dirt. Then, as I say, around the exhaust ports, I used the weathered black. Um, I've done the same on the um, side frames, except the went over all of it with sleeper grime. And then, if I don't know if it will pick it up, and uh, not really. Um, I put the weathered black on the, oh sorry, the roof dirt and some weathered black onto the uh, springs to make it look like grease buildups. And on the fuel tanks next to the fill hatches, I put a quick stripe of uh, roof dirt just to make it look like a fuel spill. Um, I may be doing a little bit extra to them because I, as of, uh, I have also got some oil spill paint. I can't remember what manufacturer it's from, but I might dab a little bit of that on with a little bit of gloss varnish just to make it look like a fresh oil spill. As I say, um, this one has the KD couplings on, so if I can peel it back a little bit. Yeah, the, um, I'll show you around this way. The bottoms of the or the coupling assembly. Oh, let me just get a scalpel, cut some of this masking tape off. The um, coupling pocket is sprung. So all I've done is I squeeze the two fishtails together, hooked it in, and glued it in. So that's why this coupling now will not come off. I've yet to fit this loco with the, his couplings. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing this week. Um, the second helix is on order guys, so hopefully <coughs> in my April holiday, I will be building my second helix. So good times. Other than that, I've just been doing a little bit of work only little bits on the layout. Um, I've done some of the authorised walking routes. I started to put the matchsticks down, ready to um, to do my tarmac on them. So yeah, I will hopefully be getting another couple of videos done in August. Uh, sorry, April. So hope you enjoy. Please subscribe. Any questions? Once again, feel free to ask. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye.